What I have for you today is a master lock trailering kit. Uh, this comes with two pieces. One is a, a receiver hitch pin. This is the pin that secures your ball hitch into the receiver so that it can't uh, be removed. So you would put this pin in through the ball hitch into the receiver, turn the key quarter turn, and then that is locked. And then this part here is used for securing the tongue of the trailer down on the ball. So that way uh, you lock it in place and then put the lock the, the coupling down on top of the ball and then s secure the coupling with this lock here. Again, a quarter turn and that's secure. Um, I'm going to open these up both here with a single um, pin pick with a diamond uh, tip. Uh, I've had success with that one in the past with locks, small locks like these. Sometimes a little too big to fit in the keyway, but we can get it in there, see if it'll work. All right, we're in the back. Let's see what we got. Okay. We'll click on four. Three's binding. Two feels set. And one doesn't want to move for me. Let's go back to the back. Decent rotation already. I think we just got one pin left. And it's up front. I'm going to work that last pin. And there it is. Well, wow. Took a little, bit, a little bit longer than I expected on that one. But sometimes that's the way it goes. So there's the trailering uh, coupling lock. And now we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the hitch pin. I'm losing the bottom of the keyway with the tension. If it have tough, as, as tough a time with the movement in there with this diamond, I may switch to the small hook. Yeah, it's, it's tough getting it into the back. All right, put some medium pressure here. Work my way from the back. Okay, good click out of four. Three feels set. Looking for something out of two. It seems like it's binding. And then one, and then we're open. All right. So these trailering uh, kits, they give you some confidence because you feel like you have an expensive set of jet skis or something on your trailer that you want to secure. And so you're going to buy these locked components versus just using cotter pins. But, you know, bottom line is these really can't be trusted, these small locks. You're going to want to think about other means of security in addition. These will definitely slow some people down. I wasn't the fastest at opening these. And um, doing that underneath a trailer laying on your back would be even harder. So um, anyways, I hope that that helps. And um, if you go ahead and look in the description, I'll put links to any of the tools that I bought on Amazon to do these kind of picking and uh, as well to these types of locks. Uh, it'll be a link in the description. 
So um, otherwise, um, if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up. That'll help other people find it as well. And as always, have a great day.